In the next few minutes of this Wix Editor X tutorial, we'll cover breakpoints, what they are, why they're important, and how to add them to your next Editor X project. All this now. So what are breakpoints? Breakpoints in Editor X are a group of preset browser window widths. These widths can be added or removed within the editor to allow your website's content to properly scale, reposition, and ultimately respond to your visitor's browser or device size. So let's go ahead and jump into Editor X and let me show you how you can do this. At the top center of our page, we have our breakpoints. If you hover over your breakpoints, you can see their width ranges. And if you want to edit any of them, you can go over the Customize Breakpoints menu and then go to that range, click the Edit Pencil, and you can easily adjust that up or down or delete that breakpoint. If we want to add a new breakpoint, we have that button right here. You click that. And if I want to add a breakpoint between these two ranges, I would go ahead and enter a value here, click Done, and now my breakpoint has been added right here. You can see it added here as well. I'm going to go ahead and remove that breakpoint. As we go down in breakpoints, you'll see that the screen size gets narrower. And as we go up, it's the opposite. It gets larger. I've gone ahead and removed one of my breakpoints to show you how I restructured the how it works section so that it looks responsive and good on all viewports. And you can see here on mobile, it's just too tight and it just doesn't work here. So I'm gonna go back up to this tablet and it looks fine here, but I'm gonna set a breakpoint between these two right here, a new breakpoint. And I'm gonna set this to 1024 being the max width. So now my new breakpoint is 1024 to 769. I can go ahead and close that out. And now with my new breakpoint selected, I'm gonna go ahead and select an item here. It's gonna, I'm gonna go to the breadcrumbs and click on layouter. And then I'm gonna go change layout. I'm gonna click on rows. And now I'm gonna make some adjustments here. But first, if you're enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now, back to the video. So now let's make these edits. First, I'm gonna to go to this text box here and change the min height to zero pixels. That's gonna give me less room here, bringing this text closer to this image, easily associating it to that image. Next, I'm gonna to go to the bottom margin and set this to 20 pixels. That's gonna bring the image up a little bit more. And then finally, I'm gonna to go to the item here and I'm gonna add 40 pixels to the bottom of that image. Then I'm gonna to go to the next item and do the same exact thing. Bring that to zero. This should have zero margin on the bottom. The stack should have 20 pixels of bottom margin. Item, 40 pixels. And last but not least, Grab this text box, remove that, did zero, make that zero. That didn't save, make that zero. Select the stack, give that 20 pixels. Select the item, give that 40 pixels. Then I'm gonna wanna grab these lines right here. There's two lines. Go to the more actions. Don't display. So what that does is going, it is going to hide those lines for this viewport and it's gonna cascade down into these two mobile viewports. So let's go ahead and hit preview. And now these sections look much better. And there you have it. Now you can add custom breakpoints to your Editor X projects. Be sure to tune in next week where I cover how to apply CSS grids to your sections. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos around this topic or other tools, concepts, or strategies, then please go ahead and subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified when the next video is released. 
My name is Rich, and thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time.